and being open to that recognition of all these different aspects of yourself and not limiting yourself to one thing that I'm only this thing. Because that's very boring. How would life be when I look at it if I can't learn anymore and if I cannot express myself? I'll tell you something funny. Yesterday, I, I was driving, I had to go back and forth, you know, when I'm driving in LA, um, and sometimes I spend two hours, two and a half hours in the traffic. Uh, that's how life is in Los Angeles. And I listened to five different spiritual teachers or five different speakers. So from motivational speaking to just a diehard spiritual stuff. And I loved it. And, you know, I may be listening to somebody for five, ten minutes. Maybe I get to a point like I, I you know, then my attention's not there anymore. Uh, I pick up whatever I, I'm, I'm meant to pick up from them, learn something, certain way of whatever they're explaining, whichever area they go into, and then then I may move on to something else. And I love the fact that internet, YouTube, podcast gives me this uh, opportunity to listen to other people. And there is so much out there. It's amazing. There's so many great teachers, so many different ways of expressing their teachings that it's like, why, would I, why wouldn't I want to listen to them? Why would I want to just limit myself and be closed to one way of teaching or one way of looking at things? Or just saying to myself, oh, I'm doing this and I, I don't need to listen to anyone else. Oh, every, everybody is my teacher. And, uh, and it's such a wonderful opportunity to learn from them of how they're expressing themselves what they're how they're seeing life what is their point of view in spirituality um the way they're they're looking at it i may not agree with it but really enjoy um checking out other people and and learning from them it makes my job a lot easier. Yeah, well, I have talked with a lot of people, and many of them say age is only a number, but most of them are afraid to be old. What do they fear? Is it better to die young and to, to take one day to day and, and like that? I don't know what they fear to be, be old. So let me see if I understand. You're asking me a question, right? Yeah, that okay. people, they talk about that age is on their number. That's experience, you age. But they say they are afraid to be old. Afraid to be old. Yeah, what do you have a fear? Is it better to die young? <laughs> I mean, I love my age. Life okay. is amazing. Well, I, I like to view getting, as you're getting older, you're putting some numbers on and getting seasoned. And uh, I, I honestly, from... Uh, very young age, I never believed in age. From childhood, I never believed in age. To me, age was always a number. 
And then to this day, I still feel the same way. Now, I, I will be lying to you if I tell you I don't see the effects of putting out years on my body and I don't see the changes. Of course I do. And uh, I don't have the same body as I had 10 years ago or 20 years ago or 30 years ago. And uh, that, that part is very, very clear. Um, and it's undeniable. But your body can be aging. That's, of course, is a natural process. But your heart is young. That's the part that I feel is going, it's, it's what's going on with, I can only speak of myself. And that's how I, it's, I feel it will be all the way to the last breath that I take on this physical plane is that I would never want to stop playing. I would never, never want to uh, not be childlike. Childish is different than childlike. And playfulness or be able to dance and or to go hiking and exercising and just being open to new things and uh, adjusting and adapting to whatever life brings and not being really set on a certain kind of ideas of this is the only way and there's no other way and I'm not open to it. So in reference to what we're talking about is as long as your heart is young, then it doesn't matter. The body does whatever it needs to do. And uh, your heart is young and you're open and you're really um, enjoying every moment of life. And of course, every moment of life, it's always, it's not going to be there, there. When we're talking about every moment of life, yeah, there's many, many moments in life that things don't go your way. And uh, you may be going through some kind of pain of whatever, loss, emotional pains, uh, failure, uh, physical pain, whatever it is. So, but when your heart's open, you, you allow things to come through and pass through you. You don't have these ideas of how things should be. And if they're not that way, I'm going to suffer. So then you become very liquid and very flexible with whatever life throws at you. Sometimes it's the good stuff. Sometimes it's the bad stuff. But you're open. And they just go through you, basically. And that's also a part of being a multidimensional being. That flexibility, that shape shifting that you have created or you've allowed yourself to become.